trying to make a difference. Um, we're trying to make a change. I mean, we're just, we're really just one voice, you know, in a sea of voices, trying to connect with an individual, reach people uh, with a message. I'm Larry Gibbert, uh, owner and founder of Gibbert Posters Designs Limited. Well, when people protested outside churches, uh, businesses, anyone protesting homosexuality and fags, uh, this was the standard kind of poster right here. I'm seeing it everywhere. God hates fags. With Gibbard Posters Design Limited, you got a whole bunch of different options. Kittens, you know, that's popular. Girls love kittens. Sports car, women, is popular with uh, kids. We have a sports series covering all the different sports. Golfing's really popular and popular with corporate America. Uh, this one's baseball. This is popular with young boys. There's a movie series that we just started doing pretty recently. Scarface came out in 1980. Kind of a sleeper, didn't do so well in the theaters. But with VHS release, DVDs, it's been really popular with African Americans. I hate fags, uh, and I love Scarface, so, you know, this is a win-win. And you put it up in your kitchen? Yeah. And where'd you get it? Are you a cop? No, I'm a filmmaker. This is our Pollock. Uh, as you can see the background, it's Pollock's number five. I am a huge fan of Pollock. I love his work. The thing about Pollock's work, particularly the, his drip period, which was 1947 to 1950, it was a real departure from what he had been doing before. A lot of people see these paintings and they say, hey, I could do that, my kid could do this. He couldn't, and that's what they don't know. He really bridged the gap between uh, the painter and the canvas, uh, what's being created. Up to now, people just use the hand and wrist, but he used his whole body to paint. It was the first time ever that you feel the presence of the artist in the work. I'm sure other artists have done it in more conventional ways. Uh, Van Gogh used to use his thumb. What he was doing was uh, so different, so revolutionary that uh, he really says to the viewer, you know, uh, it's a revelation.